folks welcome back so now i opened an app it's called emotes and this is the first thing that comes out when you download it so it has some important aspects that we have to to be vigilant about so if you notice here regarding the warning so if you have experience in a medical emergency do call 911 or your local emergency number immediately or consult a physician if you're experiencing symptoms of any illness so they are trying to tell you that you have to be responsible of your own situation especially when you're interacting with the app that's a very important disclaimer for any mobile health app all right let's see for other security they already tell you that nothing entered in this program is ever transmitted off of your phone without your permission so this is very good because um, if you actually know the security measures for social media such as Facebook, everything in your phone is actually uh, permeable. They can actually record your um, uh, logs, they can access your gallery, they can access your contact list, etc. And usually you accept the terms and conditions early on without your knowledge. So um, for this being a mobile health app, this is very genuine. All right. What else? Remember to export backup your data regularly from the settings screen since the app does not transmit anything off of your phone automatically. This is a very good um, aspect for a mobile health, especially in a psychological disorder category. It's better for you to be the one who is actually maneuvering the data out of the app rather than the app using an external server for such important and sensitive data. So shall we accept? Let's go. All right, so this is the dashboard. Interesting. Of course, I have nothing because I just... Um, okay, let's see. So basically, it's a calendar, almost in the agenda type. Last night's sleep, I slept about seven hours. Today's most extreme depressed mood. Let's see. I'm just mild. Today's most extreme elevated mood, mild. Today's most extreme irritability, moderate. I'm very irritable right now. Today's most extreme anxiety, mild. Psychotic symptoms, no. Talk therapy today, no. So this is what I have to do. Add custom tracking point, interesting. So what is this? Um, thank you for using emails. Emails was a creative and talented To bring the best app to the most people, emails is supported by voluntary patronage one month ah okay perfect so this is basically the subscription um freemium model nice so this very subtle way of actually um commercializing the app all right so we got the graph so whatever we have put last time in the yeah it's already graph that's good depressed elevated irritability and anxiety so there are four categories to track the mood disorder the calendar you can see that today has been logged log moons so it's basically this way and we can add add medication let's write medication a for example 20 milligrams anytime every day save so they tell you yes or no check out those you took today for example yes uh, today's note you, you don't click here so you have to do edit so you go like test day one interesting so basically you see it um, what if we actually go and write paragraph paragraph and then dot 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 let's see dot dot and then dot 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 <laughs> nice so you actually see it all the way to the last nice so add timestamp note uh-huh so this is brings you back to the uh to the um, premium model all right so it automatically saves let's see this one all right this is a legend basically so they tell you what you have to understand from every um, variable that they use as a tracking point nice what else uh, resources you can actually 
find crisis hotlines so they get you out of the app nice emus blog for some value based content online therapy interesting let's see does it move uh huh so i think this is an affiliate company working with them but i don't think you can actually um enter with your account from emotes so you have to make your own account with better help and find a support group so basically for self-care uh-huh so you can see which area you can be part of nice and bipolar disorder information so you can read directly some information for your help nice support us so again support us is the premium model graph basically it calendar what about this place so we got email report add a custom tracking point and some medication so basically you go back to your variables and then setting you can set the name printable reports uh-huh so for example test Joe okay and dark theme for example we can just go dark mm -hmm. well this is a little bit it's nice for the eyes but it's actually not good for someone who has a psychotic disorder <coughs> sorry because it's um, infusing depression actually anyways i'm not particularly a fan of this possibility and um, let's see so how can i ah here we go Data export, so export app data CSV file. So send email, directly send email, I see. So how about if I add, add it to Dropbox? Ah, all right, let's do download and then add. Okay, so I can upload it, nice. So data import, I can bring my own data. All right, interesting. Anyways, my Dropbox is full. So if I click on the icon, basically nothing happens. So everything, all the manipulations are here um, at the bottom of the screen, but not necessarily here. So, and it's just basically a agenda. I hope this was helpful. Um, for me, I'm not very keen of the dark theme because this is already an insinuation of depression. But the blue color is already good. They have not overused colors, which is already good. Let me see the severe. Oh, severe is very dark. None is light. I see. So they are using the shades of blue. Um, no change. Just um, blue and gray. It's fairly simple, straight to the point, and basically a log. Hmm, interesting. So we will have to evaluate other apps to see the benchmark and the de common denominator of apps, the mobile health apps in psychological disorders. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bye-bye.